Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and set it up so that uh, when we shoot all of the aliens on the screen then some text will pop up and say uh, victory or you win um, and then maybe they can reload the game and, and play again. So we're going to start by going to the dashboard and going to fonts and create a font. Um, and we'll just call this um, Win font. Um, instead of just calling it font, win font is a good idea because in that way you're being descriptive. You might have a title font, you might have um, you know, multiple fonts in your game. Uh, the less fonts you have, the faster your game will basically run. Alright, so here's our win font. Um, okay, so here it is here. Um, stencil right now only comes with three fonts. Uh, newspaper, sans serif, and typewriter. So you can change them here. You can change the size here so you can see better. And typewriter kind of looks old school, which is cool. Um, newspaper, it's a little fancy. That's about it. Um, you can change a couple of the settings here, just like you can in a word processor. Um, smoothing, generally you're going to want it, but you can choose. Um, you can change the color up here. Uh, we're not going to want black. We're probably going to want white or something uh, lighter color. And then you can come here to effects and you can actually add in a stroke color. So if I add in green um, and change the size of it, you can actually see that it um, you know, does a stroke, a color stroke going around it. So that's, that's kind of neat. Um, and then let me take this stroke off so you can see this now. And then there's a blur amount, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can actually change the, um, you can actually see, you can do a shadow effect. So that's, you know, kind of neat. Um, and you can change the X and the Y value. So there it is now. So that's what called a drop shadow. So it actually looks like the text is kind of three dimensional. Unfortunately, you can't really change the color of the, sh of the um, shadow. So it's black. So if I change the color of the text and I make our text bright yellow, you can clearly see it, but this drop shadow um, would not show up on our game very well because our game has kind of a dark background. So um, that wouldn't work out so great. Um, all right, I'm gonna go change these back to zero, zero. I'm gonna change this back to black just so you can see it. Okay, so there's only three fonts. So, um, oh, this 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 character set, that's what that stands for. Um, you basically want to leave it at what, what it's on right now. Um, okay, so how do you download and use a custom font? Well, um, what you can do is if you go to this website here called 1001 Free Fonts, 1001freefonts.com, uh, you can come in here and you can just see all these kinds of fonts um, and you can pretty much use them. So I'm going to search up here and I'm going to type in pixel and you'll see that there are um, quite a few in here. Um, okay, so I'm going to try this one here called Algol. Click on it and then when you click on it you get to see a preview of the font so that looks pretty cool like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, download. You can see it here. It says free for personal use. Now, if I was going to sell this game, um, then I would not be able to use this font because um, I don't own the rights to it. Okay, so now that went to my um, download folder. Um, you could also right mouse click on the download folder, save link as, and you could then save it right into your game folder. Um, so the font isn't exactly a sprite, it's not exactly um, audio of course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put it inside my sprites folder, that way I can just find it. Okay, good. So now I'm going to go to my folder, whoops. Alright, so it's in my graphics sprites folder and here it is right here. I'll double click it to unzip it delete the zip file and inside the folder are two fonts and an italic version and a regular version. Okay so now I'll go back to stencil and I'm gonna click on choose font and here's my font and I'll choose that and awesome it's there. So that's pretty cool. 
so I can choose the size. Now you won't really know how big to make your font until you actually see it um, on your screen. I know I'm going to not want black, I'm going to want something else. Um, there is a gradient color, so let me just show you what that looks like. So it's blue and black, so that's kind of cool. Um, and you can kind of change the gradient offset, so you can sort of shift it around, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, so that might work. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say none. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it maybe kind of this cool blue color here. Um, and there we go. That is going to be my font for now. Okay, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. We're just making the font and downloading the font. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that when we destroy all of your aliens, and you can add more than three, when you destroy all of them, the game will actually keep track of it, and then it will then say, if the aliens are all destroyed, then display the text. So I'll see you in the next video.